So I made that last week when I was making the journey from Spain to the UK. Now I ended up having to drive, it was over, a, well it's about a thousand miles, but some of it was done on the ferry. And I made that when I was waiting for the ferry which had been delayed by hours and I was going to make the video on the ferry, but I couldn't because it had been delayed so long. I even started making it. I've been traveling, I've been on this boat going from Spain to the UK and um, it's been quite a rough crossing. It takes 24 hours and I had to drive to the port. It's taken me quite a while. Um, and we're about two hours from the UK now. It's gray, it's cold, but look at the sea. Doesn't that look nice? But I couldn't finish it. So that's why there wasn't a video last week. And then for most of this week, I've been setting up this new office, which uh, I'll show you around sometime. Now, I want to talk to you about really learning Python and using it with data as well. And one really good way of becoming you know, better at that is, as I've always said, you know, it's really important to do projects. And one project which I think it would be worthwhile you doing, um, if you feel you can, would be to create a website and a web app because that will give you experience of so many different things. You know, you're going to have to choose, for example, um, what framework to use. Do you use Flask or Django? And you know, that's something that you're going to have to read up on. So you know, it forces you to do that. And then depending on what sort of functionality you want, and you're going to have to learn to do other things too. So this is what I think you should do. If you're looking for a project, I would give yourself, I don't know, two to three weeks to build a website, a dynamic website that does something. Um, use Flask or Django, research those and see which one's better for you. And then ideally you want a website where you can have users, where users have to log in. Of course, you'll be one of those users, but that will teach you how to set that up. You're going to have to learn about databases and how Python can interact with databases. And of course it can, um, it does that very well indeed. And then if you could have some way of collecting data as well, data on a subject that interests you. So you have a whole front end, back end and way of managing data and you can do analysis on that data. Um, I think that would be such a useful project and it's something that I'm thinking of doing over the next few weeks and months if I have time as well. And in terms of making yourself attractive to potential employers, you know, it would be a very good project for that too. So that is my Python challenge for you this week. Find a subject that you're interested in, make a website about it, a dynamic website where you create all of the interactivity from the website, you read up on Flask, you read up on Django, you decide how you're going to implement it, you learn about databases and how Python can interact with databases and you create something that can handle that side of things and then also that can grab data from somewhere maybe and enables you to analyze however you want to. I mean you could end up just analyzing that data uh, yourself or you could have um, some functionality on the website that could analyze that data or you could visualize the data on the website and start searching online for those sorts of topics and I think you'll find that a really really worthwhile project that will help you tremendously um, learn Python, you know, because you learn by doing, right? And, and it's all very well following tutorials, but if you don't do these projects, you're not gonna learn the language well and thoroughly enough in order to be able to do it professionally. So I'm at the computer now because I just want to show you a couple of resources that I think will be really useful when it comes to um, showing you how to build your own web app. Um, there's um, there are two sites. There's a, the Django official site, which has some really useful uh, documentation on there, and it's got some tutorials as well. So I would suggest you take a look at that. And by the way, I've put the links to these in the description as always. Um, yes, yeah, so have a go through, have a look through this site, and particularly the tutorial section um, on Django. And I'd also recommend this site. It is um, the blog uh, by Miguel Grimberg, who's a software um, engineer, and uh, he's written a really useful Flask tutorial. Um, and if you're starting out, Flask might be the better framework for you, but I wouldn't want to put you off Django either. So take a look at these two sites. I think they will be really helpful 
um, for getting started on this project. So that is something I would definitely suggest. I'm going to go off and fix up my office and I will see you next week.